one of the first things you look at. You know, you're just not gazing around aimlessly. You're actually looking to see that there's loons here. They're actively feeding there, and that's all a good sign that there's uh, lots of trout in the lake for the beak and lots left for the angler, so everybody's happy. My name's Ken Ashley. I'm a director with the Habitat Conservation Trust Foundation. Yeah, what happens to fish in lakes in this part of the world, these are very productive lakes, but the downside is that when ice cover forms in the wintertime, uh, all the oxygen can be used up and you can end up with fish suffocating because of lack of oxygen and the fish die near the end of the winter. Up until when HCTF was asked to get involved here, nobody had figured out how to add oxygen to a lake without creating an open ice hazard in the water, which is actually a criminal code infraction. HCF directed me to design a system that would add oxygen without creating it. As soon as ice starts to form in the lake, then that one gets turned off and the, and the second aerator comes on and that will continue to add oxygen like a lung and yet it doesn't open a hole in the ice and so there are no implications of anybody falling in. So what we have in here is the compressor shed that drives this, this uh, hypomimetic oxygenation system at Logan Lake. The overall oxygen input capacity of this system is, is probably in the mid 35 to 40 percent oxygen and so it's a more efficient system. As far as I know nobody's ever figured out a way to have an upflow, co-current upflow bubble and a down current, counter current oxygen transfer in the same unit in a lake this shallow. So I think this is the only one in the world. So I've spent 20 years working on that. So I'm pretty sure about that. And that's about it. HCTF is a not-for-profit conservation organization and we fund project leaders who are undertaking projects to benefit BC's freshwater fish, wildlife and habitat here in BC. Logan Lake uh, represents a really unique aspect of HCTF's ability to identify uh, and help address a problem, develop a solution, and then work with those partners. And so it's, it's beyond just improving the fishing on that lake. So that means thinking about all the pieces or components of that ecosystem and how they relate together to make sure that you're addressing the bigger stressors on, on that uh, species or habitat. We fund a lot of different types of projects. And so I think the hope then for HGTF as we bring bigger projects together, we can then offset what we're seeing, which is the loss and the decline of our species and habitats. HCTF has made a huge difference to Logan Lake in a lot of ways. Having the lake in a healthy um, state is really important not just for the fish and for the animals, but for the, for the people in the community. If we didn't have that opportunity with HCTF, we wouldn't invest in our campground, we wouldn't invest in the trail systems, your, our skateboard park, our, everything really centres around the lake. So if we didn't have a healthy lake, more than likely most of those things wouldn't exist today. Looking around the lake, I, I feel very satisfied because I, I've been here when, when the lake didn't have an aeration system and I feel very proud that HCTF was able to come up with the funding and do the direction and, and get, get involved so that we could resolve this issue and, and, and create this, this sort of angling opportunity.